Hi everyone! Welcome to a Stamping to Share video. My name is Kate Kaltoff and today I'm going to share with you how to create one of the cards that's in my class kit to go this month. This month I'm featuring the class kit to go called Well Worded and it features the the little mustache stamp, the flower, the butterfly, and the cake. And I've shown you how to use a couple of these stamps already in this set. Well today I'm going to show you another one and tomorrow another one yet and so you'll want to stay tuned. So this is the card and it's just so easy to put together and it's so striking. It's just beautiful. It'll be easy for you to mail. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're using is the Flower Pot Designer Series paper and there's a lot of really pretty um, flowery prints in here as you can see. However, the print that caught my eye when I first saw this paper pack was this print right here. It's a whole bunch of different triangles in all these um, really bright, fun, summery colors. And so that's the one I wanted to work with. We use a piece of crumb cake cardstock to get started, cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I've just gone ahead, folded it in half, and then using that paper that I had pointed out to you before from the Flower Pot Designer Series paper, I cut a one half inch strip by four inch strip and put it on the inside of my card. So that's all I'm going to do on the inside of my card. I, I could maybe do a butterfly punch out, and I may do that. Um, but we're going to build on this card from the top, and so, or from the top up. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And we're going to use a layer of early espresso cut at four by five and one fourth. And I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue to put that layer down onto the front of our card. Like this. Just want to I like using the glue because then I can just make sure all my layers are even. I've got a little bit of wiggle time there to get that looking just right. Then we're going to go ahead and using a three and three fourths inch by five inch piece of the designer series paper. We are going to use a elegant butterfly punch and we are going to make two punch outs of the elegant butterflies from this piece of designer series paper. Now these um, holes, as you could say, won't be showing through because there'll be another layer over the top of that. But I did want to get those butterflies punched out before I accidentally forget about it. And so we're just going to glue this layer now on top of our early espresso layer. So I can just set this right in here like that. Beautiful. You can see how quick this card is going together. My next layer of paper will be a panel of Whisper White and I've cut that at 3 and 3 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. And that will be layered over the top of this, but we're, first we need to do a little bit of stamping. So we are going to take our butterfly stamp from Well Worded, and I'm inking it up off camera with um, some early espresso. And then I'm just going to, I think I'll start at the top here. I'm just going to work to get the wings pretty close to the top. And then I'm going to stamp one more image right about here. And our image is done. Now I don't want to accidentally smear this because it takes a minute or so for the ink to set. And so I did pre-stamp this. Use a little bit of snail to adhere that onto our panel. The reason I have it cut at kind of that odd number, where is it? three and three eighths by four and five eighths is I wanted just a little bit more of the pattern paper to show through on the back side. All right, so now we can just take our snail and we'll just add some snail back here and we can put this down onto the front of our panel. And you'll see that that also covers up our punch outs. And now we're gonna add our accents to the center of these butterflies. So what I did with the punch outs is I added a dimensional on each one and I'm just going to set it right here. Oh my goodness, doesn't that just liven up this card and make it so pretty? So I'll add this one right here. Oh my goodness, I love that. Now I love that just by itself, 
but it even looks cooler when you take um, a little bit of our 1 8 inch gold taffeta ribbon and I've, I've just tied these bows and I've added a little glue dot and when you set that inside that butterfly you have something really really special. Now there's nothing on this card that would make it difficult to mail so you will really surprise someone when they open this up and they get this in their mailbox and open it up oh my goodness they're gonna think you're the best which you are. Thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share and I hope you have a great day and if you'd like to get the well-worded card kit just go to my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com and read up all about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.